While a lot of manufacturers at the Consumer Electronics this year are talking about OLED TVs, Sony has a new wrinkle, a different kind of TV technology that uh, we're going to have Arturo Jordan talk to me a little bit about. Today we're showing this uh, prototype of a new display technology we call Crystal LED. So what it is is an array of very small LEDs, a red, a green, and a blue one, uh, grouped together to form each pixel, and that is a self-admissive display that creates the image. So because it's self-admissive, it means it doesn't need a backlight? Exactly. So it's, it's, not, it's not only the light source, but it also creates the image. Uh -huh. Now one of the things that I've heard is that it has a lot of the same advantages that OLED TVs have, and that's that uh, the contrast is higher, good black levels, um, the wider viewing angle than we've seen with LCD TVs. Um, so is it, is it comparable in some ways to OLED and, and how would it be different? The big difference is that now you're not dealing with you know, organic count compounds to you know, create those pixels on an OLED screen. Mm -hmm. Here you're using semiconductors. Right. And you know, semiconductor manufacturing is much more advanced. So right. from a manufacturing standpoint, do you think that the fact that we already produce LEDs and we probably know a little bit more about them is a benefit to manufacturers looking to utilize this kind of technology? Well, that, you know, that's that's one of the uh, the reasons we're, you know, we're doing research on this because we know we do have those advantages. You know, LED manufacturing is getting more and more advanced you know, where, you know, this would be very easy to scale up because once you figure out how to, you know, lay down a screen of a certain size, to make one bigger, you just put more LEDs. Right. Now, Sony was one of the first manufacturers to actually ship and sell um, an OLED TV. We had one in our labs. In fact, you made us go out and buy some new test equipment because we couldn't measure the black levels on it. Um, is Sony still involved in OLED technology and developing that to see whether it's a commercialized product? Yes, uh, we're, we're still involved in, in OLED uh, research. We have, you know, you know some of the, uh, you know, the, the handheld devices. Right. We use an OLED screen. We do have uh, professional monitors that use, you know, OLED uh, displays. Well, there's a lot of interesting things happening in the TV area here at CES. So stay tuned for further reports. I'm Jim Wilcox for Consumer Reports.